up? This is Max Uhas, and uh, I'm going to give you a little breakdown on why you may or may not want to apply to work for us here. Okay. Um, here's the thing. Okay. A lot of you guys, because we run some pretty crazy ads. This is Max. I'm the owner of EBD Marketing. Uh, we're the guys that run the you know, corporate reject ads or the hippies with the flow ads, or sometimes I, I run a sales ad for like Let's Go Rangers or Let's Go Cowboys or whatever. Um, you know, because we're we're a fun company, realistically, and I, I'm not I'm not trying to attract. Hi, I'm Bill. You know what I'm saying? Suit and tie sales guys or suit and tie corporate people. We're not a corporate company. Like literally, guys. Like I'm today. I'm wearing shorts, flip flops, and a t-shirt. And uh, this is pretty much dress code here. So what I want to go over with you guys is why you may want to apply here or why you may not want to apply here because there is a huge difference. You know what I'm saying? And I want you to know exactly who you're going to be working with and who you're going to be dealing with before you even come in and apply. Okay. Now you got to ask yourself because a lot of times when, when people you know see our ads or whatever they're curious about what we do. I'll just give you a basic breakdown. Okay, we are a commercial art company. Okay, we're a commercial art company. We sell framed art. It's what we do. You know what I'm saying? We do old black and white historical photos. Um, you know, you can go to ebdtxmarketing.com and see all of this. I've probably got some other videos up there. I've probably got some other stuff up there. Right now, I'm really fired up for the Spurs heat thing because if the Spurs win, dude, we're going to bankroll. Um, but in the meantime, basically, I just want you guys to realize we sell art. Okay, I'm not looking for artists. I can teach artists how to sell what they create, you know what I'm saying? Because one of the things with, I, I went to art school a few different times. I went to Parsons in New York. Um, and I, I got a great education out of it as far as how to do design work and how to do all this other stuff. But art school didn't teach me how to make money. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, I mean, if you're going to, I mean, if you're going to art school and you've got a trust fund or whatever, and you, you know, you've got, <laughs> and you can survive on not, selling any of, your, any of your work, then cool, you, you know, you don't need us, you know what I'm saying? But a lot of times when it comes to artists and stuff like that, you don't actually know how to sell yourself. You don't actually know how to sell anything, um, any of your own stuff, you know what I'm saying? You're, you're, just, you're just blind, you create stuff and you go, I don't know, what do, we, what do you, what do you want to, you know, what is this worth? What do you want to pay me? And unfortunately, a lot of times you'll sell for less. You know, same thing with this. Um, a lot of times with different jobs, guys, you know, we get a lot of people that interview with us that, you know, are, are used to working um, jobs that don't give them enough hours or don't pay them enough or, or just whatever where they, where they feel very just uh, just not just not comfortable in the position okay we're a very chill company okay we, we pretty much like if you're cool and, and you fit in here uh, and you like to work and you got a great attitude and you don't whine you don't complain you show up on time you, you come to work we can teach you how to make money and that's the thing with this okay um, now, realistically, at the same time, if you're sitting here watching me going, hey, man, I'm not really sure if this guy's legit. I'm not sure if this company's legit, whatever. I'll show you income statements, dude. Uh, we've, we've, I, I took this place over about two, three months ago. Um, right now, we're averaging about 20, it'll probably be about 20, maybe $30,000 in sales a month. Okay. And I've, I've got guys here that, that are pulling down great money, and I've got people here that aren't pulling down much. We, and it really just depends on you. What I'm looking for really are self motivated people. Okay. Self motivated meaning I don't need to stand over you all day and tell you what to do. Okay. I, I don't, I, I worked for people like that. I've worked for companies like that. I've worked for com for corporations like that or every 15, 20 minutes while I'm sitting in my cubicle, you know, saying, do, doing what I think I'm supposed to be doing. There's the, the boss, the boss, what are you doing, Max? And I, a lot of times I got fired or I got quit from those jobs because, Hey man, listen, I don't need you standing over me all day to see, to make sure that I'm working. I'm going to work. Okay. At the same time, I don't want to have to stand over anybody to make sure that they're working. It just makes sense, right? I mean, realistically, but, but, but some people need that. Some people need that constant supervision because they're not that disciplined to work. And if you need constant supervision to work, don't apply here. <laughs> just being honest, man. Um, 
Because I'm not, I, I really don't, it, it, there's nothing that bothers me more than, than a grown person, a grown adult, a grown man, a grown woman that needs somebody to stand over them all day and tell them to work, okay? Now, the other thing is this. If you are um, self-motivated and you like artwork and you like, you know, the idea of, of basically being uh, independent half the, you know, so the majority of the time and being able to kind of more or less set your own hours and set your own pace and set your own work. Um, this is this is really, it's, it's a great opportunity for people that literally a lot of companies will not give the, the time of day to. I, I know myself 13 years ago when I came into this business, I was pretty broke, man. I was working at The Gap. Um, I, was a, I was a stock manager uh, and I, I hated it. I, I, it. There's a long story behind it, but basically like um, I was a club promoter beforehand um, 9-11 happened in New York and there was no money in the club scene in New York and I needed a job so I ended up getting a job at uh, at the Gap you know what I'm saying and I was doing markdowns I was literally click 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 they had me get up at 4.30 in the morning to get to the store at 5 or 5.30 the sun wasn't even up yet and it was Christmas time and it was just markdowns after, it wasn't even it was after Christmas and it was like it was the, the beginning of the year like holiday clearance and everything was down to like 99 cents but we had like 10,000 of these shirts and jeans and sneakers and whatever and just just crap and i literally had to scan each one of them with a -doop and get the stupid price gun and and click it and snap it and tag it and it sucked okay it sucked and i found an ad in the paper and the ad said uh limp biscuit attitude and i was like hey man i'm cooler than fred durst so i called this number and, I, and this girl liz answered the phone and i came in the next day and they were like listen do we we sell artwork and we're looking for motivated people. I was like, that's fired up, man, because I love artwork and I'm motivated and I love making money. And I literally called the Gap that day and I said, hey, man, listen, just send my check to my house. I'm never coming back. And about a year later than that, I, I, uh, I transferred to a new office. About eight months after that, I was helping a, a, to open up a new office down in North Carolina. Uh, we built one of, the, one of the top offices in the country. Three years after that, I, I went to go work for the president of the company. I worked with him for about five, six years. I was his vice president of sales. We ran one of the best powerhouse offices in the entire company. And a few years after that, basically, um, welcome to Dallas, Texas. Two, three months later, you know, say two, three months ago, I basically took over Dallas. It is my own office. It is my own business. Um, I am the owner of the company. And if you're going to interview with somebody, you're going to interview with me. Um, who knows? I may be wearing the same T-shirt. I may have recycled my laundry and... You know, I'll be wearing this t-shirt again. But we do a lot of fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? We're looking for fun people. We're looking for people that are tired of working for dumbasses. Okay? And I say dumbasses just in the sense that I know myself, whenever I worked for anybody else, and the guy that I was working for, um, I knew I was more qualified than. I knew I was more talented than. I knew I, I worked. I, I knew I was smarter than. And I worked harder than. You know what I'm saying? Nobody gets promoted here. We don't do any promotion externally. We're not going to take somebody from another company and throw them into a management position just because their resume is better than yours. Actually, this is one of the few companies where it's like if you work and you hit your goals and you do everything we ask you to do, you can basically um, come up quicker than somebody that's been here for two, three years. You know what I'm saying? But it is your choice. I know this video is getting a little long and I didn't want it to be this long, but this is just, I, I just want you to know like who we are and what we're doing and, and how this whole operation works. And just what this business is all about. You know what I'm saying? So the number to call is 972-789-9477. Okay? 782-789-9477. Um, and once again, if, if you need to do some further research, it is E, B, D, everybody decorates, T, X marketing the whole word. Sorry, I like to make things difficult sometimes. EBDTXmarketing.com. And you can look us up some more, you can check us all out, whatever. But realistically, if this is what you're looking for, this is what you're looking for, this is what you're going to get, this is what you're going to deal with, this is who you're going to deal with. And then, you know, say if you come and interview with me, hey man, listen, this is me, and I'd rather just be up front with it. And just to let you know, if you come here in a suit and tie for an interview, um, I may, I may laugh. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you're looking for a great opportunity, give us a call. I'm ending this video now. Peace out. Hope to talk to you soon. Right on, right on.